Welcome back to the Friar Talk podcast and YouTube channel. Today, we're going to be talking a little bit about Ben Fritz, who was just hired as the interim pitching coach for the Padres. If you guys did not check out our video yesterday, we talked about the firing of Larry Rothschild. Um, but to start this episode, I'll go to you first, Chase. Do you want to discuss very quickly, and then we'll get into you know what we know about the, about Ben Fritz, kind of what his roles have been, you know his past and whatnot. But do you just want to go over what Jace Tingler said right after they brought him in as the interim pitching coach? Yeah. So basically, what Tingler said is he has really studied delivery, studied pitching. He knows the medical side. He's been part of the process of getting minor and major league arms back to healthy. He's worked with all levels. He knows analytics. And that he's practically excited to work with Fritz down the line. Uh, he's done a great job with the bullpen. He's one of the reasons the bullpen's performed well. His experience, he knows the system, and he knows the guys. And he thinks that he gives us the best chance to pitch to our best capabilities down the stretch, is what he says. Yeah, for anyone who's ever watched Moneyball, uh, I believe his name was the one name that popped up in the movie on the draft board. If I remember correctly, I'm not entirely sure. Um, he was among one of the pitchers drafted in that in that A's class, which, uh, you know, that whole Moneyball movie is based around. That's what it was. Uh, he was one of those guys. and uh, I don't really know how his career panned out, but he was a first-round pick. Um, done good stuff with the bullpen so far, obviously. I wouldn't necessarily credit Rothschild with that. I would definitely credit him with that, obviously. Um, unfortunately, he just he's being put in a really, really, really poor situation um, with the ace down. You know, his fourth starter down. He doesn't even have. He doesn't have a two or three. He doesn't have a full rotation right now. So, really bad situation to be placed in. His bullpen that he's been coaching. Has is probably the most taxed bullpen in baseball right now. You know, the Padres pitching situation, a five ERA, a little higher ever since the, the beginning of July. A, a team that's 23 and 26 and sweeping the Dodgers, just a really bad situation to be put in. But, you know, he, he's vying for this job right now. He's definitely, he's obviously a candidate based off what Jace Tingler has said. So, you know, here's his chance to go out there and, and you know, help help these guys go out there and provide some quality quality innings because with Ross Childs, it was, it was just rinse repeat, rinse repeat of crap, crap, and crap going out on the mound. Unless your name was Blake Snell, Joe Musgrove. Um, so you know, hopefully this is this is something that kind of wakes this team up. I think this team is kind of down in the dumps right now. Their their depth, their clubhouse attitude is. Really, really, you know, obviously based off what Mark Melanson said, it's it's just not there. You know, they're not they're not in the in the positive limelight right now, unfortunately. And uh, hopefully, this you know they need to win this series to turn that around. Hopefully, this move is something that they wanted so they could turn it around. But there's a lot of problems right now, and and you know, hopefully, Ben Fritz is able to solve at least one of them. Yeah, so just going back real quick, you, you brought up his playing career. He did make it to AAA. He never pitched in the bigs. Um, actually had Tommy John uh, surgery, and that kind of impaired his career. So, I mean, at least he has a, a way to relate to a lot of these guys in, in the staff. Um, I mean, a lot. I mean, there's going to be a lot of guys coming back from Tommy John. At least he has the experience to have gone through that, you know, that situation. I don't know if that's necessarily a benefit, but at least he's there from, you know, a mental standpoint of like, all right, I've been there. I've, I've experienced, you know, this tough injury, this tough recovery. Um, but for this season, you know, you're talking about how, how basically Ben Fritz has his, his work cut out for him where he has led the Padres who do have the best bullpen at ERA in the NL. They've also pitched the most innings as a bullpen. He's been the guy that's, he's, he was the bullpen coach, you know, that, that was his responsibility um, is a lot of that, responsibility responsibility also delegated to Larry Rothschild yes of course but you know he's been a guy and where we've seen this Padres team as a whole when you talk about the entire team the bullpen has still been the strongest point up to this point um, when you look at it from a number standpoint the, the the lineup has we've talked about the lineup issues but they haven't produced enough runs to really call them the strength of the team the starters apps I mean we talked about yesterday a lot. The starters have been pretty much non-existent. They've had the, the tied for the lowest amount of quality starts in the in a West. You know, like it's been really tough. But the bullpen has been the one bright spot when you look at the year as a whole. Lately, yes, they've been slipping up, but we've talked about it. They are so taxed. 
Um, but Fritz has been the guy that's had to deal with that. And, and to be fair, he's done a very good job with it. He is a, an excellent job. I think, um, he is 100% going to have his work cut out for him. However, I, I like the situation for him. No one's going to blame Ben Fritz if you know they come out and they don't make the playoffs. People understand why they're in a tough spot right now. But if they come out and these pitchers look a little bit better and the bullpen isn't getting his tax or whatever the case, and I also think a lot of that's going to fall into Tingler's hands of how they utilize the bullpen. But if they look a lot better, a lot of these pitchers, if Darvish and Paddock come back and they look better, this could be a huge win for Ben Fritz. So really, really rooting for the guy. Um, it's unfortunate that his MLB career never really got able to take off because uh, of injury and, and was pretty much derailed because of that. Because you were right, he was drafted by the A's. I think it was 2002. And I also believe he was a first rounder as well, or at least a high round pick. Um, so this is a guy, you know, he's 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 been through it. You know, he's been through the development. He's been all, Chase, you brought up, he's been all over the system. Um, so definitely, definitely pulling for this guy. But anything else you guys want to add? I, I really don't know a ton about him besides like his past and what he's done with the Padres. Uh, I don't know how long he's been with the Padres, but if he was under Baldley when he was here and he worked with them hand in hand, I'd much rather go with Ben Fritz moving forward than any other pitching candidate because he also shared knowledge with Darren Balsley, and I think that's what the Padres need the most. If we can't get Balsley back, why not keep the guy that worked with him and help this bullpen succeed in the way they've succeeded this year? It's not most often that the uh, the bullpen with the most innings pitch also has the best DRA. It's usually quite opposite. The more innings the bullpen pitches, usually the worse they perform. But this guy's really held it down. So hopefully, you know, he gets to help out all the younger pitchers when they come up. Hopefully Ryan Weathers gets to learn a, a lot from him and a couple other guys, Adrian Martinez or Mackenzie Gore, either in the offseason or when they come up in hopefully September. But hopefully, you know, these starters turn it around. They start to fix all their pitches, the little mechanic tweaks, or, hey, you need to spin the ball more this way. He's an analytics guy. He works really closely with everything and studying mechanics, which I think is probably the most important thing. Yeah, you know, we talk. I think Matt, you brought up the recent struggles with the bullpen. Can't blame it all on them. Blame the starters, if anything. Um, ben Fritz has done a magnificent job with his bullpen. Chase brought it up also that, you know, it's quite opposite. It, like, it's very rare that you'll see, you know, the best bullpen ERA come from the bullpen with the most innings pitched. So, you know, uh, all all together, like this Padres team, they needed a, a you know some sort of jolt of energy, and I don't think Ben Fritz is that, but maybe taking Ross Child out of the clubhouse is something that they needed, that this pitching staff needed, you know, because we we don't know how how good they meshed, but judging based off his past, there's a lot of guys that don't like him, and I, I would honestly 100% say that Blake Snell, you could definitely add Blake Snell to that list now, of guys that don't like him, um, but hopefully. This team's got to turn it around because as much as everyone says on to 2022 and let's just move on to 2022, I know that's not how everyone feels. We've sucked for a long time. I've been saying next year for a long time. Um, I don't want to do that again. I just want to make the playoffs. That's all I'm asking for. Get to the freaking dance. Get to the dance. That's all we want. Get to the dance because anything can happen when you get there. So, you know, hopefully that happens. Yeah, I feel the same way, Isaac. I think uh, I think Friday night was, and we'll wrap this up in a second here. But I think Friday night was probably the the toughest loss. Um, and honestly, that that and I I legitimately felt like the season was over. And then the next night, it's like, oh my god, they're getting no hit into the six, and I'm just like feeling the same way. And then of course, Cronin God comes in, hits an absolute nuke to to tie the game, and they end up winning. And we're like, all right, there's life. And then right after that. <laughs> an overtaxed bullpen bullpen day. And then it was just like, oh my gosh, like it, it's very frustrating right now. I, I do think that there's a chance that this kind of gives them some spark. Um, I will also say, I mean, we talked about it a couple weeks ago that we thought there was a very high chance that the Potters make the playoffs. I don't think they should be expected to make the playoffs anymore. Am I pulling for them to make the playoffs? A hundred percent. I hope that this big friend, you know, like gets them going. The pitchers are like, Hey, you know, we, we feel more comfortable with Fritz or, you know, whatever the case is. And I, like I said, like you said, you don't think it's going to necessarily do that. I don't either, but I hope it does. I really hope, you know, bringing him in here, hopefully the starters look a little bit better. I don't know how much you're able to do in the span of like two days. 
um, being the pitching coach, probably not too much, but if we see a gradual improvement as the season ends, I mean, that's a very positive thing for Ben Fritz and the Padres organization. And potentially, I mean, potentially he's the future pitching coach. So we'll see how he looks. Um, seems like he's liked, uh, I, I, there's really not that much stuff on this guy if we're being honest, but seems like he's liked, he's had the experience as a minor leaguer, you know, the, the injury history and stuff like that. So hopefully you can relate to these guys, you know, any of these guys that have struggled in the minor leagues, hopefully he's a guy that can be like, Hey, you know, this is what happens. Ryan Weathers. He's been a guy who's been there and, and failed, you know, and rather Weathers right now, it feels like he's struggling. He could be a guy that can really mentor him. So hopefully that's the case. Um, it didn't feel, and we talked about this with Larry Rothschild. It didn't feel like Larry would go out there and really communicate with his guys. Um, so hopefully we see Ben Fritz as well. Cause you brought that up, uh, Chase, when we were talking about firing Larry Rothschild, how he, how he just never really went to the mound when the guys were struggling. Hopefully we see that out of Ben Fritz. Hopefully there's some improvement. Um, we'll probably, I would guess in maybe like a month or so, or maybe it's at the end of the season, but we'll do an update on kind of where we stand on Ben Fritz and everything as well. But let us know what you think of the hire or the interim hire. Um, and if you guys have any other cool, you know, information about Ben Fritz, please let us know. Cause we are, we want to know about this dude, but that's going to do it for today. We are going to be going live tonight at six 30 uh, Pacific time to kind of preview this uh, Dodgers Padres series. And then also just to talk about, you know, the pitching concerns and stuff like that. Cause I'm sure you guys will have a lot of questions on that, but that is going to do it for today. Thank you guys for listening and we'll talk to you tomorrow.